hi guys and welcome to my channel welcome back yes <laughs> so i know you're expecting a headwear video but no today's video is not a headwear video today's video is a diy beauty video i'll be showing you how i do my gorgeous simple everyday makeup using very few makeup products and very very few makeup brushes so stick around stay with me and let's go there all right now let's meet the brushes this is my powder brush your powder brush has to be fluffy and soft those are the bristles now the next brush i'll be using is the brush for my eyeshadow in this case my powder will be my eyeshadow because it's a natural look now this brush is for blending my concealer for my eyebrows and under my eyes if i need to the next brush is the brush i'll use to sculpt my brows now we know brows are very important and if you don't sculpt your brows ha 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 because the brows bring out the beauty of your face now onto my foundation for this look i'll be using the v beauty foundation i actually use two different types milani and this one now the next thing i'll be using for this simple makeup look is my powder i'll be using two powders here one for my brows and one for my face um the next thing i need is a palette because I'll be putting my my foundation there. I don't want to put it at the back of my hand. Next is my puff puff. I call this puff puff. It's a beauty blender. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm done after that. Oh, no, no. There's one more brush left. This is called a spoolie. You use it to brush your eyebrows. This is what helps your pencil spread when you start drawing your eyebrows. You use it to spread the pencil and smoothing it out and remove excess brow residue on your brows now that i am done showing you the brushes we will be using for this class now let's see the pencil for my eyebrows i'm using davis pencil this pencil is 100 naira but it's a very versatile pencil they're more expensive ones but i prefer this one so davis eyebrow pencil in color 18 now let's get started okay now let's start please ensure that your pencil is always very sharp and pointy when you want to start drawing your brows now the first thing you need to do is make an outline and i just made the first outline under my brows now i'm going directly on top of my brow hair to make the second outline so that both lines will link at the end that's the end of the brow watch closely please and follow the natural shape of your eyebrow the next thing is to take a spoolie and brush that very very lightly while holding your spoolie please hold it softly and brush lightly and please don't mind my sister in the background my village people sent her to spoil this video for me all right so like i said hold the brush lightly and brush if you look closely i'm not applying pressure on the brush i'm just brushing lightly the brushing will help your brows fill out evenly and also remove excess brow pencil residue. Now brush the tip, that's the beginning of your brows. Brush that very, very light. We don't want it looking boxy. And when you're done brushing, the next thing you're going to do is take your concealer brush and um, apply either a concealer or a foundation to clean and sculpt your brows. Okay, so I can go out like this if I want, but I need to show you how to sculpt your brows properly. For my brow sculpting, I'm using my foundation, the same foundation I'll be using for my face. I don't like concealer at all. So put a little bit on behind your fingers, behind your hands, or on your palette, and then take your um, concealer brush. Now watch closely, this is the part I like. Now the beauty of brow sculpting is your concealer or your foundation also serves as an eraser, removing the excess. So you see what I'm doing? Drawing and then I'm pulling, that, pulling down the foundation. Once you do that, it makes it easy for everything to blend in when you start blending your um, foundation. So watch closely, I'm following my natural brow shape till you get to the end of the tip now i'm going to add a little bit of my foundation and just draw it all the way down the next step is to take your blending brush now this part very very important now tap on your brows using the tip of the brush draw down and then blend tap don't press it though on your eyes though. Mm -mm. 
don't press it with so much force hold your brush lightly and then blend just watch what i'm doing i'm not applying pressure on my brush softly and gently blend it out can you see that is blending out yep 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 my brow is coming to life so i'm just going to ensure i pull out and then blend brush lightly now you see my brow the second one and the first one they are not on the same spot so i'm going to fix that now just by using a pencil and applying some pencil to increase the length the size of that first brow i did and then i'm going to brush it with a spoolie when i'm done so i'm going to take a little bit of my foundation now and put it all over my eyelid okay because my eyelid look like it's black so blend that blend that very very well just tap 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 with the tip of the brush like that just exactly how i'm doing that so i've covered the black part of my eyelid okay so we're almost done now beautiful <laughs> okay so if you noticed i applied some pencil on my eyebrow so i'm brushing it out now so that i can reduce the length the height of the brow so after using my spoolie i'm going to take my concealer brush with my foundation on it and then just reduce that length this is the reason why i said your concealer or your foundation serves as an eraser also serves as an eraser when you're doing makeup especially when you're sculpting your brows all right so i think the underneath is perfect blend 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 because we don't want to see harsh lines after that the next part is to do the top part of my brows all right so taking my concealer brush with product on it i realized that i put too much of foundation so what i'm going to do is spread it a little bit on my forehead as you're spreading you pull upward towards your hairline and then you slowly right on top of the brows clean like that just like i'm doing in the video you clean until you get all the way to the to, to the bottom of the brow that's the arc yes now everybody mustn't have that pointed sharp arc some people's natural arcs are soft so you just need to find out which one is yours and stick to it okay so i'm going to take my blending brush the same thing i did underneath my brows is the same thing i'll be doing for the top please don't apply apply too much of stress on your fingers when you're doing this part don't hit your brows back 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 back, back like that too no 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 you have to do it softly hold your brush softly and using the tip or the bristles of your brush gently blend it into your hairline that is upward blend the top part of the brow softly and that's how you have beautiful natural looking brows okay you can see that i'm pulling the product upward towards my hair so i'm going to work on the other brows now the top part of the other brow i'm going to work on it the same thing i did on the first one that's exactly what i'm doing on the second one now your brows must not be identical meaning that your brows are not twins they are sisters <laughs> okay so um i hope you understand this part so far you can ask me questions drop your comments and let me know what you think or if you have any questions about product awareness what you need to buy you really don't need to break the when you want to do makeup on your face no you just need to know the right products for your skin type and how to use them the same thing with the tools you just need to know how to use them okay i love the way my brows look right now yeah <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I want to do is my foundation and I would like to use a staple brush for my face. I already moisturized my face. Um, that's because my skin type is normal. So I don't need to mattify my face with a mattifying primer. I've just moisturized my face. Now let me show you how I do my foundation. Okay, so I have put foundation on my mixing palette and I'll be using that staple brush to apply my foundation. Why that staple brush you say? Because I like the way it distributes the foundation evenly on my face. And staple brushes always have white and black color. The top is white, the bottom is black. Now watch how I apply my foundation. 
so put your brush lightly on the palette on your mixing palette watch what i'm doing i'm not dragging it i'm just tapping it on the foundation that's how i do my foundation that makes it look really nice and natural now i'm going to go in going sweeping from in out like that take your brush hold it very lightly don't press like that you're using the tip here and take it from in out in out so i'm not building my foundation too heavy i just want it very very light coverage so i'm not going to be making it over smooth so i'm just taking my foundation brush and applying it gently and when i say gently what i mean is you are using that white tip of the steeple brush to apply your foundation can you see how i'm going into my hairline i didn't put the brush on the foundation and start taking it into my hairline no no so watch closely how i apply my foundation this is like the best part of makeup for me because you build it's just like you're building a house so you're taking it step by step until you are satisfied with what you um want so can you see that coverage this lady v a b v beauty foundation it's really really nice though i'm not going to lie coverage is it's okay very very okay so go all the way under like that you don't want to have a little line over your face All right, so if you watch closely, you see that I'm also applying underneath my jawline, into my hairline, even towards my ear. But I didn't put my brush in the foundation to do that. I ensured that I rubbed the brush all over my face and my eyes. And then whatever is left on the stipple brush is what I draw into my hairline. Okay, so my face is looking pang, pang, pang already. So I'm just looking to see the spots that I missed. This is what I talking about when i say build up the foundation to the coverage that you like so now i can go over again with another um, foundation you get so build up till you get the coverage you like like and don't forget please take your brushes into your hairline very very important you don't want to be left with one white round line from your face and your jawline now i'm ensuring that my jaw line has is covered my neck and everything is looking fine okay into my hairline all the way down just ensure like i said earlier i don't want to add too much of foundation i just want soft coverage and that's what makes it look natural now i'm going to take my blending uh puff puff what's it called the beauty blender yes now watch what i'm going to do because i want that foundation under my eye not to get um not to start breaking i'm going to use my powder as a finishing powder to hold the foundation so what that does it does is you know when they say baking in makeup that's when you are baking so i'm taking a powder that is a little bit lighter than my shade or my skin tone just dab 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 and then put it under your eyes just like i'm doing so that will hold the foundation and let it sit very well on your skin can you see what i'm doing good so you do the same thing for the other part of your eye just put that powder underneath there that's what i do that makes the foundation look really really nice so i'm going to do the same thing for the other part of my eyes exactly see how makeup makes me look ugly look how i'm doing my mouth like frog <laughs> anyways once you're done applying the powder with your beauty blender i'm just holding using the powder as a baking powder to hold my foundation in place now this step i do especially when i probably need to do my eyeshadow or fix my eyelash and i'm not ready to put my powder yet so this will hold the foundation or the concealer in place. Now I'm going to take my blending brush for my eyes and just dab it on one of the powder in my powder palette and use it all over my eye. That's like my eyeshadow, my natural eyeshadow. You see what I'm doing? You see the round motion, very soft. You go in a sweeping motion back and forth like that. 
using the brush to spread the powder all over your eyes but please hold your brush very very lightly so go over again and just go in the sweeping motion back and forth back and forth like that and that's all that's my natural eyeshadow <laughs> so you see that my powder palette really helped me yeah now watch can you see my face Ooh, la, 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 la. okay now i'm going to take my powder brush dab 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 on my powder palette watch can you see that i'm not rubbing just dabbing it and then put it on my face i'm not rubbing so watch me and i'm also not going to rub my face with the powder do you see what i'm doing just hold your brush very lightly softly i'm using just the tip on my face that is all i'm feeling ahead not dragging it like that mm -mm. you're going to do it softly soft 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 everything is a soft touch <laughs> oh god look at my face i'm looking so fine oh my lord where is your son that you have sent for me where is the man that's gonna come for me don't mind me <laughs> so rub your powder all the way down your neck too so that it evens out the whole complexion and everything i know my hair is looking rough but don't worry by the time i'm done you're gonna see a different girl from the one that you saw in the beginning can you see how my eyebrows are popping Woo! Woo! oh my god the high brows is looking so fine all right I have slicked my hair down with edge control. Now I'm going to apply this nude lipstick. I think this lipstick is from Revlon. I can't remember. The paper don't tear for the body. Just use any nude lipstick. So apply. Oh, look at my dimples. <laughs> apply the nude lipstick and smack. When you smack your lips, when you apply lipstick, it spreads the lipstick all over your lips. So I'm going to be using that shiny absolute lip, lip gloss. I bought that one 200 naira, I think. I can't remember. So I'm going to spread it because I need a little bit of shine on my lips. My succulent, beautiful, lovely lips. <laughs> so once I'm done, okay, smack, smack, smack to spread it. I think I love the way I'm looking, but I want to apply a lip liner. That's a lip pencil. And the lip pencil I'll be using is a Davis pencil in number color 03 so I'm just going to make an outline of my lips that's all spread it and smack it okay so when you apply the lip liner on your lip just smack smack and that's all you see that it will evenly distribute it for you and that is all you need when you want to do a simple makeup like you're going to the office you don't want to stress that's all this routine will take you about 20 minutes to achieve you don't need to do highlighting contouring just your makeup your powder and your brows and you are good to go wow this has been a beautiful video i hope you enjoyed this video because i enjoyed creating it for you all right so i'm just trying to ensure that my powder is looking pink please don't drag your powder on your powder palette and start dragging it all over your face no can you see how i'm dabbing all over my face very close to my hairline you know to ensure that i don't have my face looking like um one line is separating them that's what happens when hash lines are all over your face okay so i don't think i like my earring i need to change this earring so i'm going to be changing it into a pearl earring because pearls always fit me very well okay guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you watching this video so if you would like to uh, have a tutorial of this headpiece maybe in Ankara or in Ashoki, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell down there. Follow me on social media, don't be a stranger.